The greatest technological change I've experienced during my lifetime is no doubt the Internet. When we enabled computers to talk with one another, we made it possible for people everywhere to talk with everybody else, wherever they are. And that changed everything. Many say that we have government planning to thank for this, because supposedly the US Army created the Internet to protect communications from a possible military attack. The economist Mariano Mazzucato says that this shows the ability of the government. The state dared to think, against all odds, about the impossible, she writes, and concludes that it required a massive push by the state. But no, that's not how innovation works. Ideas for networks between computers were conjured up in many different places in the 1960s. Because universities and private companies had begun to develop various forms of digital information technology. Robert Taylor at the US military research agency ARPA is often credited with being an internet pioneer. He said that they developed a network between their mainframe computers not for military purposes, but because they were annoyed at having to walk between different terminals and use different login procedures to use several of their computers at the same time. It was not that the military or the politicians picked a winner, as Matsukato claims. Rather, they didn't have the faintest idea what Taylor and the others were up to. It wasn't a plan handed down from the top, but the culmination of a multitude of crazy experiments and developments in different places bubbling up from the bottom. A large part of what we've done over the years is to stumble on things, says Taylor. We didn't do it by planning. But wait, what about the military? The kernel of truth in the old creation myth is that the US military had actually been offered a similar idea on a plate a few years earlier, only to turn it down. And of course, there was no committee or plan to fill the internet with life. We had no plan, no hierarchy and no coordination. We only had a platform, open to all. And we had everyone. Enthusiasts, eccentrics and entrepreneurs on board. That's why it worked. Everybody had the freedom to write, create and program freely. Ideas clashed, combined and emerged to build the amazing science fiction world we live in today. And central planning had nothing to do with it. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.